Hello, Radiant One, and welcome to The Golden Frequency, the show and podcast sharing wisdom, experiences, tools, and knowledge for and from the new era, weaving the worlds of seen and unseen, spiritual and practical, magical and mundane. I'm your host, spiritual business coach, energy alignment method mentor, catalyst and facilitator, Maria Zarafina. I serve soul-driven, heart-based spiritual entrepreneurs and holistic business owners wanting to grow and expand from within, as well as lead with love in business and life. If you have yet to join my sacred newsletter community of Radiant Ones, here to support the unveiling, the awakening, healing, and transformation of all through the lifting of the frequency and vibration of our realm, personally and collectively, I invite you to join us. Go to mariaserafina.com forward slash E-A-M, where you will also receive my free guide to the five steps of the energy alignment method. Designed to support you in recognizing and releasing stagnant, stale, or stuck energy in every area of your life and business, as well as create flow and align you to that which you do desire. On my website, you will also find show notes, transcripts, and previous episodes. Know that I always encourage you to listen with an open heart and an open mind and take only what serves you and leave the rest. It is my deep honor, my great pleasure and joy to share this episode with you. Here is today's episode. Hello, Radiant One, and a very big and a very warm welcome into this episode. It has been a while since my last one. And one of the things that I've been sitting with was whether or not... um, the golden frequency was asking for different seasons as I've done with both the Magdalene voices and the spiritual business podcast that has had kind of like seasons, but what has come through is that there's no, there doesn't seem to be wanting to be any seasons in terms of these episodes. It's simply just a matter of them coming out um, when they want to. And hopefully now more consistently because I have been going through a, another significant period of growth and expansion, um, much of which I'm going to share with you in this episode, uh, which is why I'm so excited that you're here. Um, the like I said, the the this episode is really there's like there's a couple of intentions with me sharing this episode. Number one is I want to um, inspire you. Um, and also empower you by sharing how um, expansion is messy. There's a couple of different uh, subtitles that this episode can have. And one of them was the messy truth about expansion or the nonlinear path of expansion. or even the stages of expansion. And I don't know which one of those it's going to be, if any of those, but I just know that, um, that I, I, I want to bring forth the, um, the, not even the notion, I want to bring forth the, the, the truth as I see it, or as I experience it in terms of expansion and how it is both messy and nonlinear. There's, there's really no, um, straightforward path, at least, in my experience and based on what I see with my clients and with I, what I see with friends and, and um, colleagues, it's always, um, there's always going to be ups and downs. There's always going to be uh, mess and chaos and then um, uh, structure and organization. And and so that's, that's what I want to share with this uh, episode is that if you're someone who has something that is asking to be born through you, but you don't see the clear path or you don't see the all of the steps, know that that is perfectly fine. It's not necessarily for you to know. And even at times when you think you do know, you might be um, set on a different path further down the road. Um, at least that's what um, what's my experience, especially with what I am about to share with you in terms of my own uh, personal expansion when it comes to my business. Um, and and so if if yeah, so if you're in that spot, whether it be um, you're already far along or whether you have 
expanded or whether you're just about to, uh, I hope that this will serve you. Now, um, one of the things that I should maybe uh, preface this with is that I, I, today I am someone who would consider myself fairly organized and structured. It's always been a it's always been one of my superpowers, at least when it came to my clients. But just because I was able to uh, share with my clients and also just because I was able to uh, be it didn't necessarily mean that I felt it or saw it that way. It, it's only been in the recent years that I've truly come to recognize how I actually am very structured and very organized despite it having been like a superpower of mine for years, it's it's the, the recognition of it for me personally, the acknowledgement of it for me personally has only come in recent years. And so um, if you had told me years ago that you would have considered me organized, I probably would have revolted against that, um, which would have been laughable. Now me looking back, I can see that I've always been and I, and and I guess I attribute that to I have a Virgo moon. So apparently within astrology, us Virgos were very organized. Um, and so that's that's where I see it now. But it's taken quite a while for me to recognize that that's what happened. However, whenever I start a new project, whether it be uh, an episode, whether it be um, uh, a new program, whether it be uh, a new service, whether it be anything, everything is to me very disorganized. And honestly, that's something that I have at times in the past struggled with because I have that organized part, part of myself that wants everything to be uh, structured and organized, especially when I'm talking about structured and organized, I, I talk about like, I see my Dropbox folders and I remember someone once saw the structure of my organ, my, my Dropbox folders and were like, and that's, that was one of the reasons why I realized, oh, maybe I am more organized than I give myself credit for. But whenever I start a new project, everything just gets put into one. I can't, my brain can't organize it. And, and truth be told, that was something that I was, um, annoyed by until I realized why it is and how um, that is actually the, the, the quote unquote, what I consider to be the natural rhythm of like the organization, the universe, it's is literally in sync with everything that is. And that's because if you look at it, um, when something is seeded or sprouted in the universe, it comes within the realm of the divine feminine. The divine feminine is usually quote unquote, a dark place. And I don't mean dark in the sense of shadow, even though that that's in it as well, but, um, it's, it's in a, in, um, in a, in a, or on disorganized, sometimes chaotic looking space. But that's the, like, if you look at seeds being sprouted in the ground, like that's how they're nourished. That's how they're um, um, finding their roots. That's how they're growing and then coming out into the light. And so that is part of, um, now I recognize that as part of the structure. And one of the things that I've been um, studying or reading about looking into over the yeah almost seven, what are we, August, eight months, eight, nine months has been the Gene Keys and when I look at the gene keys, like recently I've been looking into gene key one and two, which is divine masculine and divine feminine, and, and they literally speak to it. So it's like, oh, it makes total sense um, for that. And then once you have it, um, once you've given that place to just uh, be, grow, be nourished, then comes the the expansion, the the expansion being the divine masculine, the expansion into the world, which is literally an expansion of the divine feminine through the divine masculine into the world. And so, and I also see it, so I see that in my projects, everything gets thrown into a drop bar folder to kind of give it, to kind of make it more practical for you. It's like everything gets thrown into a Dropbox folder, all the files that I'm creating or a note, like if I have a, if I'm creating notes, everything gets thrown in, like I create a folder for my notes and then everything just gets thrown in there. And then afterwards it then gets um, organized. 
then once that phase of um, divine masculine or um, explosion of the creative, if you want to call it that, the downloads, all of that, once that is, um, I don't want to say done because the, 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 the inspiration continues, but once that um, initial burst is done, then I start to organize things. Then I start to create folders in, in my Dropbox. Then I start to organize my notes. Then I start to organize things so that I have a better overview of them. And as I was preparing for this episode, I realized that that also happens in um, with my with my client notes. Whenever I'm in session with a client, there is such a sacred space where I'm, I'm just like, immediately focused on and being present in that moment with the client and I do mind maps and so if if someone from the outside or and even my clients if they see my notes you'll you'll look at these notes and you'll think that they're completely um I don't want to say messed up but they're very they from probably when someone who's outside they look very disorganized and and uh, all over the place, but for me there is a very clear method to it, of course, as well. But I also use colors and such. Such, however, the final notes that I send to the client to my clients uh, on paper or not paper, sorry, but in my emails, they are very organized. So I have taken what was quote unquote messy and I've added like an organized structure to it. So that's like that's what happens, and that's. Um, I, I don't think that you can have one without the other. At least I can't. I have to be in that messy, chaotic space in order for, for creativity to allow to be moving through me to then move into that phase of organization. And that really, I, what I want you to take away from this is it with what, what whatever project that you're working on or with, whether it be your holistic, you know, a spiritual soldier and heart based uh, entrepreneur, holistic business owner, whether you're someone who works nine to five, like that is, that's for me at least seems to be the process. Things are in that chaotic, juicy, vibrant space, and then they can begin to become more quote unquote linear. Um, and, um, and then one of the things that I've recently noticed is once the, once the expansion has happened, once the expansion, because you move into that place, and I've talked about this many, many times, there can be no expansion without feeling constrained or restricted or discomfort. Because when we are moving beyond our current um limits or boundaries. I know people talk about comfort zones. I'm not someone who's like necessarily like you just have to push through your comfort zone, even though the, at times that can be very powerful. But when we're like, whenever we're coming up against that thing, we then become um, uh, uncomfortable. Like if you look at a caterpillar, and that's the thing that I've mentioned before, if you look at a butterfly that like goes from caterpillar into butterfly, it literally has to go through that restraint of the cocoon and in the in the act of that happens what i found out is that when the butterfly goes through the process of moving out of the cocoon that's when the because of the restraints that's when the fluids are then pressed out into its wings so that it is able to fly and i love that i love that how powerful that is that we cannot without without that this like without that that pressure it wouldn't be able to fly I, i've told the story before of like if you try to cut it open it won't be able to fly because it, it doesn't have that pressure that then where its fluid gets into its wing and for me i see it that that is the same thing as with any like if you're um uh, starting a new project or a new service or a new product or something, there's going to be that restraint of I am moving into a new area. It's going to be uncomfortable. I recently had the ask, the question of like, 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 why do I have to, um, like, just push beyond my comfort zone? And and the the truth is, you don't have to, but very often you cannot but help like there comes a time when we can do as much as we want and we can move as 
like I like moving in increments and so that you expand gently, but then at some point there just comes a time when the, um, when the, when you have to move through it. And that sometimes is, can be really uncomfortable. Um, but I've also found that once you're on that, once you've expanded into that new place, like you don't really recognize, you don't understand why it was that you were so resistant or what it was you were so against on the other side. Um, so that, um, that, um, that I wanted to share with you. Then something that I've recently discovered is that once you've, and I've noticed this before, but I, it wasn't until this recent project that I've just launched that I'm excited to tell you about that, um, where I, I discovered it. So once we've moved beyond what was like, once we've expanded, I realized that there is a time where there is a vacuum after. And um, look, again, in preparation for this episode, I was thinking about like, again, if a, when a, when a, when a flower breaks through its shell to bloom or a sprout breaks through its shell to sprout, then the shell where it was contained will then be quote unquote empty and there will be space. Same goes with a cocoon from a butterfly. There will be that space in it. And, 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 and I had this moment, um, which was actually one or two days where I felt empty because this baby and i guess you know if you're giving birth to a child it's the same thing like once the child leaves leaves the womb the womb will then be empty and the and the um the like the the place where you have held that baby for so long will or automatically feel empty despite the child now being living in the world and when i say child i mean you know if you're talking about business, your, 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 the product or the service or the, whatever it is that you're, you're here to serve the world with, of course, there's going to be that time of emptiness. And, and in the past, I think that I have probably, uh, moved through it and I have ignored it because I, I didn't want to feel that emptiness. But as I was doing this, um, I sat with it and I honored it and it was such a, beautiful space to be in a state of really nothingness of feeling empty and 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 nothingness and so um know that if you're again if you're someone who's put something into the world and all of a sudden you feel this empty feeling that's to me seems like very normal in the process of expansion because you've expanded beyond what you were and so you abandon or leave behind what was, and that can bring about that emptiness, um, I find. Um, now, I've shared this before, you take whatever serves you, then leave the rest. My deepest or and most important advice is always to um, follow your inner guidance. What I share with you is my truth. However, I would love for you to like check in and see and follow your inner guidance what I share may not be right for you or it may be and that's why you're here but always ever check in with your inner guidance and what your internal guidance is saying never fo blindly follow anyone just because they seem to be the expert or seem to know more than you do uh quote unquote I'm I'm, I'm making earmarks quote unquote because because the the knowing the truth lies within you now, as I mentioned, this episode is inspired by uh, equal, actually equal measures, to be honest, equal measures of failure and desire to do things in a new way that I haven't done before. Um, it's um, something that um, I, had a, I had a reading, a hand reading by, I call her Helen Hans. I will share her, I, I did an episode with her um, on, I think the spiritual business podcast, which was brilliant, where she was very honest in terms of her journey as a spiritual business owner and, and holistic owned business owner and, and, and how, yeah, things are not linear, how expansion is messy and how, um, 
how it's, you know, what we see on the outside is not necessarily what goes on on the inside. Um, I'll share the link in the show notes for that so you can check her out. It was brilliant. But she, um, she, she's a brilliant, she's a hand expert. And she did a reading for me, I think about two years ago, probably two, almost two years ago. And in it, what one of the things she saw was me leading groups. And it's something that has called me in the past, um, but truth be told, I've never really found the same kind of um, success with it as I have with one-on-ones. And so I guess I've been kind of frustrated with the universe. I've been like, y'all, like if y'all want this, like y'all, but, um, but what I hadn't contemplated was that the way that I've been putting it out might not have been in the right way. And so that has been like my big epiphany this year is that uh, I've, ha- I've had to rethink or redo or re-listen, reimagine, re re all of the re's in terms of the way that I put this forth into the world. And, and again, when it comes to the title of this episode in terms of expansion, that path has not been linear. I've had to release a lot of uh, limiting beliefs about how I can do this and can I do this in this way that I want to do it. Uh, and in the end, I've had to say, fuck it, I'm just going to do it. Because like, I haven't seen anyone do it the way that I I do it. And so uh, maybe there is, maybe there isn't. It's, that's not really what's important. What's important is this is a, a way that I am now trying out because I... I I want to, um, I, my intentions, I'm may, maybe I should share my, um, my intentions. My intentions has been, I want to provide people with affordable programs that can support your, uh, expansion and growth that then in turn serves the elevation of the frequency and the vibration of our planet as a whole, because as you rise, we all rise. So I wanted to bring that about. And truth be told, I am, I've been tired of the programs that it's like, it's eight weeks, it's $2,000 and it's a $5,000 upgrade. And then you can like, whatever. And I'm, 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 I'm tired of it. Um, I, I'm just tired of it. And I shared about, you know, marketing. I'll leave a link to that episode as well. But I've, like the whole way, and this seems to just also be regurgitated. Like this is the way you want to do it. And then there's the whole, and sorry, I'm going off on a rant. So I wanted to, I wanted to have affordable programs and I wanted to have support options that you choose, that you can go through like, you can choose your level of support. Maybe you're someone who does not want a whole bunch of support. Maybe you're someone who prefers to do things on your own and just do it on your own, which is totally fine. So what I've done is I have um, created three levels of support. So there's a self-study option, there's a group support option, and then there is a one-on-one support option as well. So that you choose whatever level of support you want. And I wanted to have it be available to you whenever it is that you are ready for it so that it's not necessarily um, only coming out once every year or every, you know, when there's two Mondays on a whatever. And again, and this is completely honest, I may completely re imagine this, like, I have no idea what I am doing right now, whether or not that will work or not in the way that I intend it to. I am hoping that it will, and I have a notion that it will, but I'm also open to being wrong. Like, I'm open to this might not working the way that, and I'm open to uh, putting the pieces together in a different way. So I may be doing launches in the future. Right now, I don't see myself necessarily doing that, but I may do that in the future. The prices may go up in the future. Uh, the options for uh, package or for support may change in the future. I don't know, but this is what I know is calling me uh, right this moment and have been for quite some time. So the way that, I, the, so what I did, maybe I should, tell you what I did. So what I did is I, um, 
I snuck in last week and that's where the vacuum that I was talking about came in. What I did is I uh, snuck in my programs page on my website. Maybe you've already seen it, maybe you haven't. If you haven't, you can go to mariaserafina.com forward slash programs. And what I have there is I have, the first one that's come out is a human design and gene keys program that takes you through, um, eventually it'll be all of the 64 keys, uh, but they are coming out uh, as I download more information and as I get all the flow sheets and the activations done. You can go check that out. Then the next one is gonna be the seven initiations, which is one of my like true babies that's been inside of me for such a long time. And I'm so excited to be putting that out there because I truly feel that that's like, that should be like a, um, uh, requirement if you're a soul driven heart based spiritual entrepreneur or holistic business owner because they're like they're these seven initiations that it, sorry these seven initiations that we all go through and I, I I just want to bring this information into the hands of as many people as possible and I'm doing that in combination with energy medicine with vibrational medicine because I have discovered uh, for myself and experience with my clients how powerful it is when you combine those two things and so so that's that that's 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 what i've done and as i said i've created three levels of support so there is a self-study option every um program will have a self-study option so you can just buy the program you can get started right this moment and and everything will be accessible at the time where you uh, enter no releasing no you get to, you decide, you choose, because um, for me, you're the one who knows your truth. And then you also have the option to join the Radiant community, which I am hoping is going to be such a beautiful, powerful, inspiring community for soul-driven, heart-based spiritual entrepreneurs and holistic business owners. I want to share as much as possible with you. And so it's both serving as a hub for those, for, for like when you buy a program, it's serving as a hub for any question you may have about the program that you've purchased, but it's also meant to be a space where you can literally ask me anything and I will do my very best to um, share with you as much as possible as I can, because I know that the world is a better place when you grow and expand and when we grow and expand and so that is that's my that's my thing and then finally you have an option also to join the one-on-one -on -one where I'm giving you an opportunity to do something that I've actually only done with my um, former clients is that is and that is having the one-on-one -on -one option as well where you have a session with me every month as well and so that's what that's what I've done um and this has been, like I said, it's been a messy process. It's been a beautiful process. And it's, it, wouldn't, it wouldn't have been the process the way that it has if I had not had the energy alignment method. Uh, you will hear me sh uh, shout this from the rooftops over and over again. There are many, many different tools out there and you may have one that works for you. Brilliant if you don't, or if you want something that is, um, I don't want to say new, but if you want something, if you have something, but you're, you're curious about what the energy alignment method is, I created a free guide for you. You probably already heard it in the intro, but go to mariaserafina.com forward slash EAM. And then if you're one of the things that I've done with projects is now I release a, like a release and align in terms of um, past experiences. I've released thoughts, uh, limiting beliefs, outer um, outer limits, upper limits, uh, self sabotage, uh, emotions that's been coming up, uh, victim mode, like all of these things that come up that I can release and align with every day is just such a brilliant tool, and you can do it everywhere or anywhere. Um, that is what I wanted to share with you. Finally, the, the thing that I would love to hear from you is what is your experience of expansion? Do you have the, you know, heavens open and a, the path is clear and you go straight forward? Or do you have the same experience of messiness and disorganizedness? I know that's not a word as I do and as others do, what, whichever it is, 
please leave a comment and let us hear from you because I want as many people as possible to share their experiences so that we can all see that there like there's no one right way to do it there's no right like there's no one ring to bind it all I have spoken enough in this episode um that is what I had to share with you uh, I leave all of the links in the um uh, in the show notes and I love you. Have a wonderful day wherever in the world you might be. Bye. Radiant One, I hope today's episode served you well. For all the deeds and details, click the link in the description. And if you've enjoyed this episode, please share it with a friend so that the love shared within this episode through our connection may be amplified and rippled out further into the world. Thank you. I love you.